is where we do like really, really strong work. So okay. this is the uh, place for weeding too, and then we do the weeding here. This is all, this is about for dead people. Hey, what's up family? So we're about to go expose a voodoo shop down the street. And we go to park across the street and look at the name of the church. Truth Deliverance Center of Jesus. Man, God is so good. We about to walk up in there and expose it. Kevin and I had prayed before we even came here. We were praying in the spirit, asking God where he wants us to go. He said he wants us to expose voodoo, witchcraft. So we're gonna go do that. Um, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go in faith, man. Just straight faith and see what the Lord wants to do. As you guys can see, St. Jackie's Botanica. We just come in here to cause havoc in the enemy's camp. I love it. Let's get it. So we entered this voodoo shop and we exposed everything. The voodoo priest initially did not want to be interviewed, but later on, by the grace of God, he joined the interview. Watch all the way to the end. So right now, as you guys can see, we're in the actual voodoo shop this is um haitian voodoo as you guys can see all the different these are all the candles um these are all the different candles they light for different things as you guys can see look the the, the, the candle of love drawing um lovers look at a court case candle um a candle for money drawing to get money house blessing um there's different candles in new age and witchcraft they light candles doing rituals onto demons and hope that they would grant them their requests for things like money and love but it's all demonic these are the different the different statues that they that they they'll put for the altars as you can see there's more statues up here and the, look at this they even have you know the virgin mary um right there holding jesus um, they have angels, they have Buddha, Buddha right there, some more Buddhas, the different saints, as you see, you see in the Catholic Church. Um, the bigger candles, um, look, they even have the Egyptian statues right here, they have one right there, Egyptian statue. In Catholicism, they use the same exact statues. They worship and bow down to saints just like they do in Voodoo and Santeria. It's called idolatry, it's demonic, and you should not do it. This holes, like, you know, it's like when they doing some work, like, you know, it's, it's, we have one spirit, like, called Bosu, like, you know, it's like a cow, cow Bosu in, in one, like, you know, when you're doing the spirit, so you use it to the spirit, to all you do the battle like that. I use this and I make those bottles with okay. this and I'm going to make those bottles. You can use this and to prepare the bottle and then like, you know, and then after that you see they present it to the spirit. To the spirit, to the, yeah. okay. And what are the spirits called? And I can show you the image of the spirit. Okay. And it's called Bosu. Bosu. That's what, that's what it's represent. Okay, let's go see it. In witchcraft and voodoo, they worship spirits, AKA demons and they give sacrifices, have statues, and do rituals onto these false gods. It's demonic. There's more over here too. There's more over here as you guys can see. Uh, and this is the spirit for the, the cow. Is, come here, come here. This is Bosu. This is Bosu. It looks like a, like a Catholic saint. Yeah, it's still a Catholic saint. You know, like, you know, in order for us, like, you know, to really use the spirit, so we have to do the Catholic thing and to show them like you know we believe in the Catholic really we was not believe in the Catholic we was believe in the black spirit. Many witches and warlocks hide in the Catholic Church it's because it's no different it's idolatry like I said they bow down to spirits to demons we don't worship saints and we don't worship idols the only one we worship is the fullness of God bodily Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What's that right there? This is Baphomet. Okay. Baphomet, like you know, you know, Baphomet is the, is the one from here, from America, is the, the spirit from the America. For the same way, like you know, Haiti, we use it too. So Baphomet wow. is the god of those artists. When they all those artists, like you know, and how they are, look? yeah, when you're talking like about Jay Z, yeah, Jay Z, Beyonce, all this is what they're serving. Wow. Yeah, this is the spirit they're serving, man. All those people, like you know, when you go down and you initiate, you initiate in that. Did you hear that? The voodoo priest confirmed that in Hollywood, they worship the false god, the demon, the principality, the fallen angel, Baphomet. And that's how they get money, power, and fame through 
sacrifices and rituals and worship onto this false god, this demon. Wow. And what about that knife? Why is there a knife there? Oh, this is different. This is like the knife, like, you know, is for me, like, you know, my spiritual thing. Like if any evil people come there, anything bad, so we can shut it down. Everything the devil does is a perversion of what God does. The Bible says that the word of God is the sword of the spirit. The devil tries to pervert that and he tries to incorporate murder, literal murder and death and pervert that with a knife. You see how he stuttered? You see how he didn't come through with a clean response? That's because even he knows it's wrong. What does that mean? Is, is, that, is that in Creole or French? This is Creole, man. So, bienvenue to mes ans, yo, admet canal. It's like, you know, all those like hypocrite people, like, you know, you're welcome to my place. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That lady, you know, she's called Santa Barbara. She's the one, like, you know, fighting for Haitian revolution. So she's wow. the mother of the Haiti. Wow, Santa Yeah, Barbara. it's called, we call it a Danto, Ezidi Danto. That is Jezebelic worship, just like we see in the Catholic Church when they bow down to Mary, the statue. That is idol worship. That is demonic. We don't worship idols or dead people. The only one we pray through to the Father is the Son by the Holy Ghost. Three in one. Three persons, but one God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. This is demonic. Even the, the mermaids. I've, I've even heard my, my wife tell me that there's real mermaids in Haiti. Yes, they will. One, I never see it. <laughs> but you heard about it. Yeah, I hear about it, yeah. At the ocean. Yeah. I have this one here. This one here is a part of like, you know, for... Oh, wow, this is an actual altar. Like, this is actually where you come, this, this is where you do Yeah, reading. this is the altar, like, you know, when we do, and it's spiritual, you know, they have two, one is hot, one is cold. So this is where, if we are going to do like, you know, Rada, like, you know, and they have Rada and they have Pedro. This one is a Pedro womb. Like, you know, it's not a Rada. Okay. Rada is like, you know, the coal tank, like, you know, all those scents from Yamaya, Simbi, all those things. So mm -hmm. this is not a Rada, this is a Pedro. So from there is all these high spirit. You can, when you try to do reading, you can come here, like, you know, sit down with them and talk oh, so to them. This is, what, this is where you do the reading? This is the reading room. Wow, wow. So you, so you would do a reading here, you would have the person sit right here? Yeah, I you... will have the person sit right there. Okay. And then I will sit here and call the spirit and when the spirit come without the person tell me nothing and the spirit will tell the person the true whatever has happened to his life how would the spirit tell like there's an actual spirit like, or does it enter you or does it go speak it's into me wow so the, the, the actual the, the the ancestral spirit right it's an ancestral spirit right yeah it'll enter you and then speak to the person about it. so i so went, talk to the person tell the person about his life what's going on what is the next what the future what he's been doing to Wow, and then when this when you're speaking, are you there? Are you are, are you conscious? You completely are not there. No, you're not there. You're not there. You're gone. After the spirit come, you come. That's why, I like, so you, you know, so you, sometimes, you actually are not there. You, no, you're you don't. Not you there. don't. You don't remember nothing. No, you don't remember. You don't what? remember. Yeah, you don't remember when it comes. It's, it's taking your body completely. That right there, my brothers and sisters, is called demonic possession. The demon takes over their soul and body and will eat, drink, and speak through them while they're unconscious. I'm here to tell you, witches and warlocks can hear in the spirit realm from demons and get information from your past, but it doesn't make it good. They put witchcraft control on people by telling them specific things about their past to make people believe everything they say, but only God, Jesus, knows the future. Is that, is that another room? Yeah, this is another room. This one is like we... This is another womb right there. This is the, this womb is like where Bosu is. This is where we do like really, really strong work. So okay. this is the, the place for reading too. And then we do the reading here. This is all, this is about for dead people. Like, you know, really. Is, is there a light in here we could turn on or no? No light? Oh, hold on. Okay. Just so, so we could get a good visual of it. It's like Christmas lights. Wow. So this, oh my goodness, this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this right there really is part of so like, the, right there is part of the death. Okay, like so you know, your family, your mom, all your ancestors. Anyone that's so dead. this is okay. anyone of dead people, dead people. And this is how, like, you know, we put them together. We call them, we offering them stuff, and then we talk to them. We cannot worship our dead relatives. When someone dies, they either go to heaven or they go to hell. 
People are deceived into believing they're worshiping their ancestors, when in reality, they're actually worshiping demons. What's that one right there, the, 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 the doll? Which one? The, the doll on top of the, the, the skull. Uh, the doll is like, you know, is represented like it's, yeah, and like it's a spirit. Okay. So, so it's, a spirit. it's a representative of a spirit. Yeah. And is that all alcohol? Or th yeah, this is all alcohol. Okay, do you, do you, do, does the spirit drink alcohol? Yes, the spirit drink a lot when it comes. Wait, wait, wait. So the spirit enters you, and then when you. I don't drink. I don't the drink, spirit I drinks don't, through you. Yeah, I don't drink, I don't smoke. When the spirit come in me, drink, smoke. What? In black magic, they use voodoo dolls to perform rituals. How dumb is that? And also, when the demon possesses the voodoo priest, he will drink and smoke, creating a demonic atmosphere in his temple for the demon to be empowered. Stop drinking and smoking, folks. Have this one too, like, you know, when the spirit, like, you know, when the gay they come, like, you know, this is hot paper. What? They get it, they get it, they get it, pull all this in the body and drink it. it you can smell it. Ah. So, so you can smell it. They get it, drink and they it, drink it, the they drink it and put it in the body, wash the private part of it, and it, that's it, man. That's why they do it. This is all paper. This is real. Y'all see that? This is real peppers, hot yeah. peppers. And yeah. and that's that's Im almost impossible for a human to do that. Yeah. So, so that, that's how you know that that's so, it's the yeah, spirit. When they get it, when they get it, come. Got gotcha. you. That's what he do. He drink it and put it, drop it in his body and dance it. Do you guys see how dumb this stuff can get? They take hot peppers and chug it down the throat of the human. It's straight torment and suffering. Why would you want to do that? As you guys can see, look at all this. This is all real. This is... This is real Haitian voodoo. This is botanica. This is santeria. The, you know, and he and he um and he's a real voodoo priest from Haiti. You don't have to go to Haiti, right? You don't have to go to Haiti to do this, right? You could do it here in Orlando, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's real. This is like right here. This is the entrance of the store when okay. people came. Okay. So they can do like you know whatever is like a, like you go into a church. Wow. Yeah. As you guys can see over there, there's actual herbs, herbs that they use. I think that's sage at the bottom. This is like this is like or, or, or organic herbs that they get from the ground. So really, here, like you know, people came here. When people came here, it's like we're in the church. So all this money, they don't want to drop the money there. They do, they pray and they drop money to the spirit for a good luck. The devil takes everything God does and perverts it. As you guys can see, people are sowing, they're giving donations onto a demon for good luck. Mm. So this is all this right there. Right there we have an uh, leg bar. So it's the one to open the door for you. Anything you're doing is the one to open the door for you. In St. Maria, they call it Francisca. This is Francisca okay. in Francisco. So they both the husband and wife oh, okay. so for me i dress them different this one is like represent the haitian culture and like the one called cousin zaka the guy is working in the farm is a really working hard so i dress it like that so wow. after that all this what is like that this is a moses wow this is moses like the christian moses yeah christian moses when this is the cane in his hand everything that's a light. Yeah, that's a light. Wow. Again, straight perversion. They worship idols. They worship statues. They worship dead people. They even worship the dead saints, just like in the Catholic Church. And they've even taken Moses and tried to make him into a magician. Straight demonic perversion of what God does. So as you guys can see, we just went into the shop. We have authority where we could walk into any of these shops and we can't be touched. And God said, I will be all things to all men, be as wise as a serpent and as gentle as a dove. They can't mess with us, man. According to what the Lord is telling me right now, he will be saved along with his child, the son. And he'll, and he'll be a powerful man preaching about the gospel of Jesus Christ and not this demonic voodoo, man. We're going to keep exposing this stuff. Let's get it. Family, I just want to let you guys know I've been to Haiti. I've seen voodoo rituals done in front of me. Everything I saw in that store, at one time I was practicing. I practiced Santeria. I practiced different forms of witchcraft, shamanism, 
crystal um, crystals. I had thousands of dollars worth of crystals. I was balancing chakras with shamans. I've gone deep into different new age and witchcraft practices. I've been to Muslim mosques. I mean, I studied Buddhism. I've done all this before coming to Christ. So I, my testimony ties into this and that's why the Lord has me expose darkness. It's because I have no fear because I've been there and I know what God pulled me out of. And he has way, way more power than any demon, any false God, any false religion on this planet. The brother's name is Met Kanal. I want us all to pray for Met Kanal. That's his name, that voodoo priest. Um, I want you all to pray that he'd be saved. I believe that if a thousand people pray for him and send a petition up to heaven, a fervent prayer, he can get saved. I believe that him, his son, they'll be saved preaching the gospel. Um, I believe his business will be shut down and God will transition it to the kingdom of God. I believe God will allow him to have a kingdom business. I believe that he'll have purpose and fulfillment and have and leave all that deception. Man, I was so deceived in it just like him. So I understand for those that know my testimony, I was going to be a dual inducted warlock in Haiti and Puerto Rico. I was deep into witchcraft. I wore the beads. I had the altars. I did the rituals and Jesus Christ saved me. I had an encounter with Jesus Christ in my apartment alone. He had delivered me from demons, filled me with his spirit. I mean, the process of me coming to Christ out of all this witchcraft was, man, it was like a movie. Um, I almost went crazy, but God saved me. So I thank God again. Let's all say a prayer for Met Canal. I want you guys to pray for him in the name of Jesus. And I believe he shall be saved. And my brother, if you're watching this video, I want to let you know I love you and I want to see you come to Christ. And if you want to come to the church, you're more than welcome to come anytime, man. You could look at the um, information in the YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and you'll see um, our address, man. I love you. God bless you. Hope to see you soon. And man, everyone, say a prayer for Met Canal. I believe he can truly be saved in Jesus name. Don't scroll away. The Lord actually put it on my heart to pray a deliverance prayer. So if this is you, if you're watching this video, you might have been scrolling through YouTube. And you might have been looking for, vo for voodoo and santeria and stuff. And, and you, may, you might be into that just like I was. It's no coincidence. I came to Christ by scrolling through YouTube and seeing a Christian casting demons out of a Reiki healer from um, Torben Sandergaard from the Last Reformation. Shout out to my brother Torben. I personally know him. And his video actually brought me to Christ after a sequence of events. God kept pulling me in and that video sealed the deal. So I'm going to do the same thing he did. I'm going to pray a deliverance prayer right now in the name of Jesus Christ over this. And you're going to get delivered from demons. If right now you feel convicted, you feel you feel like you're wrong and you want to just give your life to Christ. I want you to do this. I want you to say, Jesus, I give my life to you. Say, Jesus, I renounce and I repent and I confess of all witchcraft Say it all voodoo, all santeria, it's everything you're doing. You might have crystals, evil eyes. You might have the voodoo beads. You might have altars. You might be putting salt in corners and taking herb baths. Whatever you're doing right now, just say, I'm done with it. And I want you guys, after this video, to throw everything away. Go burn it like I did. I burned everything I had. I spent thousands of dollars worth on witchcraft items. And those stories that you just saw, I spent thousands doing rituals, and I burnt everything. Now I'm going to pray a prayer, and you're going to get delivered from demons just like I did. Some of you are actually going to get saved from this video. Are you ready? So right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I command every unclean spirit of witchcraft to come up and to come out of the body right now in Jesus' name. There's even people right now that are watching that were once in witchcraft but never got delivered and gave their life to Christ. You're, you, you're going through mental bondage, double-mindedness. You, you think you're schizophrenic, bipolar, you're not. Right now I command that spirit of rejection to come out of the body in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear, pride, rebellion, witchcraft, every python spirit, every spirit of divination, I bind you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you to the abyss. Leviathan and Jezebel, up and out too. I command every demonic spirit right now, any spirit of addiction, any spirit of pornography, any spirit of lust, any spirit of fornication, in incubus, succubus, incest, any demon at the sound of my voice right now, I command you to come up and come out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Go to the abyss right now. Fire on you in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the Holy Ghost fire through the body right now. Every demon come up and out. Let's go. Up and out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. 
Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray, Holy Ghost, you fill every vessel, every area of their temple where a devil left, every room, all 93 rooms, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Say this. Say, Jesus, fill me with your spirit. Say it. Holy Ghost, fill the brother and sister that's saying it in Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you might have got saved and delivered right now. You need to get baptized in water. You need to find a local church. You need to get plugged into a Holy Spirit-filled church, and you're more than welcome to come to the rock over here in orlando uh, the orlando area the central florida area we're actually in apopka which is really close to downtown orlando you you guys are more than welcome to come we love you guys join us online for any for for for, for lives if you can't come in person take the discipleship course join us we're an international ministry moving in power god bless you all in jesus name